Afternoon everyone, this is The Little Mechanic and here we are today changing a turbo on a 2 litre DID Mitsubishi Outlander 2008 on a 57 plate. So for those of you who don't know, this is a Volkswagen engine under the bonnet. It's the 2 litre TDI that they fit in most A3s, A4s, Golfs, Passats, you name it. It's their, uh, their universal engine and it's found its way under the bonnet of a Mitsubishi. So, the turbo. The most common failure on these is actually this pipe in here, um, which is the oil feed pipe that goes right the way around the back of the engine to the top of the turbo. Um, these block up, causes the turbo to fail um, as the bearings can't cool. So then comes the job of replacing it. And to be fair, it is not an easy mission, um, but I will talk you through a guide. Now with this one, this one's actually my own personal car. Um, I have taken the turbo off already and have got in place the uh, the new turbo so I just thought we'd talk through some of the easier ways to do this job um, as it's quite complex so first of all front wheel arch driver's side if we look in here you can see I've removed pretty much everything out of the way um, it's, it's quite a labor intensive job this and there's lots of stuff that gets in the way and I found this is the easiest way to do it um, so all the legs gone, um, all the wishbones gone, the drive shaft, see where the drive shaft plugs in just here, I've removed all of that, all the brakes are out of the way and I've taken off all the turbo piping so you can get to where the turbo lives which is here. So here's my new unit all in place. Um, so, and I'm just working my way through, putting it all back together again. And you can see that actually now I've got everything out of the way, the access is pretty cool. Um, a few key things, um, this pipe just here, um, which is the oil return. Make sure you put the gasket back in the top, um, up here. Um, ideally get a new gasket. Um, so a new gasket set and turbo is probably the easiest way to go. Um, and the manifold bolts right to the top here. Um, there's eight of which new gasket in there and they are a bitch to get to. Um, but work your way through, they're 12 mil bolts. Um, you can do it with a very short ratchet. So I use my smallest one with some extension bars to get them all back in and back through. Um, oil feed pipe to the top. Um, uh, comes in on the top of the pipe. Just there you can see that is a banjo bolt so make sure that you clean it out properly and put it all back in place with its new copper rings otherwise you'll end up with oil everywhere um, and you don't want that. Um, there's not really a lot else I can tell you about the job um, as I say it is labour intensive it's a pain in the backside um, you need to have a fairly decent toolkit to be able to do the job um, and ideally I would take it to a garage to do but it can be done um, it's taken me two days it took me a day to strip it down you may be able to do it quicker it's the first time I've ever done it um, and we're halfway through the day of putting it back together um, it, once it's done obviously make sure the sump needs to come off clean that completely out because um, there will more likely be iron filings in there from where your old turbos failed and also the trumpet, the oil pickup needs cleaning out um, and fresh oil. And then what I would do, the same as I'm going to do with this one, is run it for a few days, sump off again, clean it all back out and put it all back together and give the engine a full service. Um, and that's kind of it. And basically if your turbo pipe has caused the drama, the oil feed pipe, then ideally put a new one on it. Um, and make sure you use the correct oil. The correct oil is mostly important purely for the fact if the oil is too thick it won't make it through the through the pipes and you'll end up blowing another turbo. Um, the turbo itself I got from London Turbos um, who remanufacture them, they strip them all down, rebuild them and make them all lovely and new. It cost me £240. Um, just remember that this is a Volkswagen engine so again if, if I can get to it just up here you have the Volkswagen part number on that little part there. If you phone up somewhere and ask for a Mitsubishi Turbo, you expect it to be 600 to 800 pounds. If you line up the numbers with the Volkswagen one, let's say 240 pounds, um, and it's on exchange, so they'll take your old unit in and um, and replace it for a new one. So I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, then please leave a message. Um, and if you like the video, please say so. Um, I look forward to seeing you all again. Bye bye.